This is the photograph. Hmm? So? Yes. So what do you think? It's extraordinary. Ah. This is in Siget, where I'm from. The year is 1946. You see? Yes. You see them? Dozens of men walking down the street, all dressed in black, and the casket is soap. Who could imagine such a thing? No one. Huh? Who could make this up? But that's just it, Milton. What? Just what you said, who could imagine such a thing? People cannot imagine it. It's almost inconceivable. Ah, that Miss Blumberg was why I'm counting on you. You must tell them. These atrocities were simply a normal fact of people's lives. Such things as barriers of human soap were not inconceivable. I understand. Who thinks of proof at such a time? I understand that. Who could know that some hard proof would be needed to corroborate what I lived through and witnessed? Why should I think? Someday somebody might not believe you. Why should I think that? You shouldn't. No, and because I didn't think this, now no one believes me. I don't think that's what they're saying. No, Annie, no, that is exactly what they're saying. This was 100% fact, this that I survived. This was fact, kept alive in my memory, branded on my skin, branded in my heart for always. And this is not enough. That's not enough. Okay, okay, I understand that this is not enough. But now, I have a photograph. Hmm? Now I have the proof. This is a true photograph. How can you disbelieve this photograph? How can you? I don't. How can you? Mr. Saltzman, I don't. But they do. This is proof. This is incontrovertible proof of what I witnessed. It cannot be disputed. We already knew that the Nazi soap machinery existed. It was not a rumor that this funeral procession in my hometown was not merely the result of misinformation or even macabre poetic metaphor, but that the depravity of the Nazis knew no bounds. I know there are Holocaust deniers in the world. I find it incomprehensible, but I know they are there. But what I did not expect was that my own people would deny my own people. Yes. As if I were making it up myself. Why would I make such a thing up? Why would anyone do such a thing? They wouldn't. No, they wouldn't. No one would ever make up such a thing. No one has the imagination. So how can they say, huh? We're not buying it. Ah, why do they treat me like a little child? Hmm? They accuse me. No, it is them. They are the ones. Let me ask you something. Hmm? Yes? If there was a list of everyone in the camp at Auschwitz, and for some reason my name was not on that list, even though I was there along with my mother and father and aunts and uncles and two sisters, what would that mean? Huh? What would what mean? If my name doesn't appear on that list, does that mean I wasn't at the camp just because my name isn't there? Of course not. Of course not. Of course not. No. To them it would mean I wasn't there. To them, where is your proof? Your name is not on the list. This is our evidence. Your name isn't on it.